Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. We're back with more Illusion of Gaia. Finishing up the land of Mu, home of the vampires. That we will inevitably have to slay. We are going to be vampire slayers. Probably in this episode. Uh. And right now we're slaying ghosts and slimes. Vampires aren't too out of the realm. More health for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, the question is... Which path to take? Let's go the north path for now. Alright. That up there for there to be another plane for the ghost to live on? Give me problems? No more of you. Okay. What else do we have in this northern area? Whoa. Kick. This looks familiar. I think we've been. No, we've seen here, but we ain't been here. What's this? You found. Rama's statue. That's important. We needed that. Ugh. Kick? You done? Give me that health. Alright, down here is a whole lot of nothing. Which is to be expected. Because this area was just to finish out those monsters and to get that statue okay what does the south side hold no enemies in this area for me to be trying to find no enemies here either What's this about? I see. There must be another statue. Alright, so that must be what the other path is about. I'm gonna run all the way there. Alright, the last path is this one. Get it. Okay. No more enemies. We may have cleared out all the enemies already. A lot of different pathways down here. Oh, no, there's some enemies here. Hello. Kick. Or get the chest. <laughs> you found Rama's statue. You guys are doing a very bad job guarding it. I'm out of here. Poke, 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 poke. Run, slide, and get more power. Oh yeah. All right. So there's the other statue. But there were a couple other paths for us to check out. And I don't want to leave stuff behind. It could be Red Jewel or something. Alright, well that's a dead end. So, that's one less place to check out. And then up here... I've been up here. And why would I want to be up here? I don't know. I don't think I do. I think I want to go place that other statue. I do want to be a little safe. Hey, uh, hold on. No, I want to be freed. 
Gonna make me fight the vampires as well? Maybe that's what makes him so hard that you gotta fight him as well. Two vampires versus one boy and his flute. Luckily the boy has psychic powers. Unluckily they haven't really manifested it into anything that does damage yet. This looks like an ancient burial ground for the people of Mu. I'm out of here. I'm worried. I'm on my last life and I don't want to screw things up. I'm saving it. I don't know if this is where the fight takes place, but I recall the fight taking place somewhere where it's like grid like like this. I am Rama, King of Mu. My body passed on long ago, but my spirit lives on. If you can look closely, you can probably see wandering spirits. Once a single ray of light came from the sky, people thought it was the light of the spirits. One year after that, our bodies began to change. One got very thin, one turned to stone, one's body melted like water. Family and friends turned to monsters before our eyes. We fought back the tears. Some couldn't take it and thought we should flee from here. But Mu is an island. We didn't know if we'd find another place to live. There were no materials for a boat. It would sink if we made it out of stone. Many saw no point in living if this thing continued. They started building an undersea tunnel. They dug on, not knowing how long it would take. Okay, so, undersea tunnel. I spoke to all the spirits. The underwater tunnel dug by man is inside. Please take this mystic statue. I will. I don't even have to fight a boss for this. The vampires are going to come forward to something I know. I remember the vampires. I'll never forget them. They're like the hardest boss in the game. Yeah, this looks like where we fight. Ah! Yeah, help me! Somebody help! Somebody save me! I'm in trouble. <laughs> so... You found the mystic statue. I thought the guy who came to the palace was strange. We were right to let him go. Mm, what are you saying? You were drooling when he was here. You're always like that when young ones come. All you ever think about is food. <clears throat> so do you. Wait, this is not the time or place for an argument. First, let's get that mystic statue. Get ready. Do 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 Oh there's a time limit too Oh man I'm kick Ooh Okay Get poked get poked Kick Poke Kick Poke 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 Poke. Huh. All right, it's got a little less than two minutes. A little less than two minutes. Kick! Get him! 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 I have all the herbs. I have all the herbs. I can use any number of herbs. Yes, medicine. Oh, so good. So good. Ah! Son of a. Kick! Poke, poke, poke! God, they're so strong! I'm not equipped. Alright, no, I. If this is where all of my herbs go, that is fine. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Alright, you were so close to dead focusing on you, then it's just one-on-one -on -one with the vampires. <laughs> Gah! Don't dodge me. Ah! 
Waffe. I killed him, but I was too busy trying not to die. You're almost dead too. You die now. I ate a bunch of herbs, but I didn't die. Oh god. Uh, 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 do I talk to him to stop it? First defuse the bomb. Hurry, hurry. What do I do? There's a red wire and a blue wire sticking out of the bomb. Cut which one? Uh, cut the red one. The red wire is cut. <sighs> the bomb has been diffused. Saved. Sorry, Will. There was nothing I could do. My legs gave out from fear. I couldn't move or even make a sound. Up to now, I thought I was strong, but in a crisis. Sorry for staying in your pocket for so long. Once again, Will has saved me. Thanks, Will. I was gone for sure, man. Alright, um, like, what? I'm just gonna leave you tied up like that, and I don't know. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's the crew. Will, are you okay? Will, the island St. Lily, has something happened? I'm here. I'm right here, silly. Don't you see me in my dandelion form? Now I'm a person again. Sorry. I'm sorry I worried you. Will was protecting me, so I was okay. Well, Will seems to have really grown up. It doesn't matter. Let's think about how to leave Moo. That's good. We heard some things from someone called Rama. Will told everyone about Moo and the people who had come through the underwater tunnel. It's such a sad story. Separated from those with whom they lived, others remained underwater. If we go through the tunnel, we might be able to reach the mainland. Good idea. Let's get out of here. And so, Will and friends searched for the underwater tunnel and found it. Little did they know, the walking from an island in the ocean to the mainland still takes a long time. Five days have passed since we entered the tunnel. The same scenery goes on and on. It's hard to keep track of time. Let's rest here today. <sighs> I'm so tired. I must have walked 500 miles today. <laughs> That's crazy having to walk so far. Enough! You've been tired ever since we started this trip. Lance is right. Kara, I think all of us feel the same way. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Hey, don't look! But, but I wonder how far this tunnel goes. Thousands of years ago, people walked through this tunnel. Somehow, when I think about the distant past, I feel so insignificant. People sure are strange. I am afraid the longer we travel in this tunnel, the easier it will be to forget why we are here. Maybe all ancient people were that way. Hmm. I want a steak and a salad. My skin has gone dry from eating weird food. Hey, I, I said don't look. I'm going to go over here. These mushrooms grow all over the tunnel. It's our only food. Yesterday, baked mushroom. The day before, boiled mushroom. Before that, raw. Awfully tasteless. We can't ask too much. I'll do it to live. We have to eat. Oh no! Will found more mushrooms! It's better than starving. Well, let's eat. Ah! I was just trying to move into position. Eighth day in the tunnel. Unable to sleep, I stared in an underground river. This game has a lot of us just getting like lost or trapped and just screwed in situations for days and weeks on end. Will lives a sad life. Can't sleep? No. I'm just looking for more mushrooms. Just kidding. Will, you've changed during this journey. Somehow you've grown up. I don't understand it myself, but I can use some strange power 
and my body has changed to the body of a warrior. The change seems to have started when my father went to the Tower of Babel. I'm just starting to understand that power. Why did you join this dangerous expedition anyway? At first it was just for fun, but now it's a secret. <laughs> we will walk all day again tomorrow, so let's get some sleep. Two weeks since entering the tunnel, and still no end in sight. Last night, when I was sleeping, I heard an odd sound from above. Kara is very concerned about that sound. I'm too tired to do anything. That sounds like fighting. Wait, I hear it again. What is that sound? Run. It's a cave. Run. Maybe it's Riverson? Maybe it's Riverson. No, no, we've got to run. Run? Run where? Uh, just, just not the way we came. How about that? Quiet, everyone. This vibrating sound. It's Morse code. It's a signal ships use to talk to each other. The length of the sound indicates letters. Let's see if we can decode it. Wait. This is Seth. Seth? Shh, quiet. Neil continues. I was swallowed by Riverson. When I came to, the form of my body had changed to Riverson's. This Riverson is a creature who lives in the ocean. I don't know if it's human or not. He said that evolution is being affected by the light of a comet. I wanted to continue the journey with you, but not in this body. You must figure out this riddle of the comet and the ruins. hear anything now. Seth, I'm scared. This guy must have studied Morse code. Seth, too, did a good thing. But Seth didn't have a human form. No, Eric. Don't jump to conclusions. Only humans can think that human shape is the best one. Well, cheer up. Let's go. We have escaped! We're here at last. We've walked through the tunnel for almost a month. But look, a sign! What? The Angel Tribe. Travelers, please use this room. Angels living in a place like this? Are angels living in a place like this? They say angels don't like meeting with people. First, we can rest in that room. Will, let's go. What? Will, come with me. What are you grinning about? I'll explain this. My, I'll explore this place myself. Don't try and follow me then. <laughs> Why are you so grouchy? Maybe she's just tired. Let her be for now. Yeah, we just got back above ground, so let's use this underground room to sleep in. Will. B I wanted to talk to you about something. But it's hard to talk about, but I seem to have fallen in love with Lily. I dream only of her, and I want her to notice me. It's not like me, is it? Not true. But you've spent a lot of time together. It seems only natural. Suda will be Lily's 15th birthday. I want to give her a present and tell her how I feel. B b what would you give her? Of course, something she'd wear would be nice. When she sees it, she'll think of you. But of course! I'll think, I'll find stones and make a necklace. Thanks for the lies. Well, I'll think about it. It's good to have friends. <laughs> Why do angels live in such a dark place? It feels so gloomy. Yeah, the sun is really bright. I never noticed that before. 
Now I think the angels are descendants of the Moo people. Well, let's go see what Kara's up to. There's no save in here, so it doesn't seem like much of a respite. Do what's this all about? Angel Village? Hello. This is the Angel Village. If our bodies are exposed to the sun for long, we'll perish. Eh? That didn't sound like angels, bud. Sound more like vampires. I don't know when we started living here. When I look at the ocean, my heart aches. It aches, it does. It's been said that we are the form into which humans evolve. Okay. Humans evolve into vampires claiming to be angels. Got it. We have no emotion. I've neither laughed nor cried since the day I was born. I just survive. Okay. It's been said that we are the form in which humans evolve. This is the Angel Village. We don't have a lot of things to say. Once a human woman named Kara came here. Ishtar praised her beauty, and then she went to his studio. I'll show you the way to the studio. Remember it. Go with the wind. If you look at which way the torch flame bends, you'll understand. Down the dark street, through where the wind blows, to where you can hear the waterfall. Then look for the place where the sound of the waterfall is loud. Ishtar's studio is in front. Be careful. Okay, if there's any sort of puzzle involving uh, the, tor the uh, like multiple pathways or something. Do I'm the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. I'm holding seven red jewels for you. What's your business to give you my red jewels? Mm, this is a rare jewel. Let me hold it for you. There are now 13 in the room. You've collected over eight, according to the list. Your life will be increased. And your strength. Because according to 12, your strength. I just want to see you. Woman playing heart. Music is the best medicine for the soul. The right song will cure any disease. Alright, let's check out this one. This is the Angel Village, blah blah. People here love to dance. I dance to remember what it feels like to be human but the picture on the wall was painted by Ishtar, but the model in the painting was lost. We are expressionless, but Ishtar painted us with faces overflowing with human kindness. After that, people wanted to be painted, who wanted to be painted flocked here. I used to dance with the person in that picture. We play music. <laughs> Alright, Angel Village. It seems a little weird that nobody's even the slightest bit curious of how we came to get here. I am a sculptor. I plan to make 1,000 statues in my lifetime. Alright, waterfall. Do you know the painter Ishtar? Yes, Ishtar Studio is on the other side of this door. But in front, creatures with hate in their hearts are waiting. If you must go, you can open the door. Let's finish looking around here first before we we go and deal with Ishtar's haunted studio or whatever it is. She appears to be sleeping. It's like the spirit's drawn out. Hmm. Do 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 do. Here's where we get a save. No, I wanted to record. Just in case bad things happen. It'll probably be okay. We're getting to the end of this episode. But I want to take a look and see what's going on back here. Because I don't remember this at all. Do do do. Bats. Skeletons? What are skeletons doing back here? The bats make a little bit of sense. 
I don't remember this place at all. Yeah! Alright, the bats are pretty darn easy to deal with. You just poke them twice. And they're done. Skellies. Ooh. Ah! Boomerang throws. Boomerang ribcage! Boom! Kick in! Oh, I'm gonna get even stronger. Good, good, good. Could use some health, though. Oh, yeah. What's this guy getting? Now the pathway is getting slightly complicated. Only slightly. This gets me back up. Okay. That's up back to the room. So I could follow the torches if I really just want to know which way to go. Boom! What's this about? Hmm. Nothing I can do with that just yet. Does that mean there's nothing I can do with it ever? Not necessarily. What the heck are you? Ah! Get kicked? Little dragony monster and hydra thing. Hex your problem. You're terrifying. Whatever you are. Alright, what do we got? Boom. Uh, uh. Okay. I'm gonna psycho dash the crap out of you. Go back here for another second. Whoa! Psycho Dash! No! But there was health! No! <laughs> oh, hey, it still let me be alive. It reset the monsters because I didn't have any lives. But it still let me be alive. What you want? To be kicked? Because I can grant that. Give it to you twice. There's a big guy here, but maybe not anymore. <clears throat> kick, kick. Whoa, didn't even see you. Kick granted. Yeah, this kick is a pretty great power. I'm liking it a lot. I've already done all that. Oh, that sent me back to the beginning of the, the whole shebang thing. With monsters respawned. Again. Alright, kicks are important. Psycho dashes against these guys are pretty good because they just stand there and wait for me to come. I can go blam! Get them all easily. What? 
Ah! I don't like this. But at least it was relatively easy. And I get a strength up for it. Um. Hmm. This fire pulls that way, but this fire pulls that way. Something odd's happening there. Fire's pulling both ways there as well. And on some level, the fire's supposed to dictate where I'm supposed to be going. I don't think I'm supposed to have to bust down any walls for it, but it could be wrong. What's... There's, there's gotta be a point to here. I haven't seen anything I can slide through. No, I ain't seen much of anything at all. Okay, if I go down this, or up that, goes to this, which takes me to that one room. That's unimportant. What does this get me? In here with a dude! So, we haven't explored here yet. So, hopefully, this is where we need to be. <coughs> At the very least, we got more power. We're better now. I have this feeling like I need to be freed and push that or something. Yeah, those are the two that go up to the same spot, and this brings me up to this one. Which will be all but empty. Hmm. Well, since I'm this far back, I should go save. And talk to Gaia, see what Gaia has to say, and talk to that one person about that riddle again, because that seemed to really be the key. Who was it that knew the riddle? Not you. Hmm. Alright guys, he's not gonna tell me nothing. So we'll go reread that riddle and ponder. No, none of you knew the riddle. What was it? Someone in here? Yeah, it was you. Go with the wind. If you look at which way the torch flame bends, you'll understand. Down the dark street, through where the wind blows, to where you can hear the waterfall. Then look for the place where the sound of the waterfall is the loudest. Istar's studio is in front. I think I understand, maybe, and if so, next episode we will be checking out Ishtar's studio at the very beginning.
See you.